Hello and welcome to Let's Look At Redirection. I thought I'd give this game a go because it's about to come out on Steam and uh, it's by Daniel Radcliffe, not Daniel Radcliffe, uh, who made the Computer Craft Minecraft mod, which I spent a lot of time playing with back when I played Minecraft. Uh, I'm just going to play the introduction whilst I talk about the game because it will give you an idea of how the game plays. Um. Yes, it's coming out on Steam soon, but apparently the Steam version is going to be completely different from the non-Steam version. This one is released through his own website. Uh, you buy it from PayPal or whatever you want to pay, and it's you know it's just a simple download. It's an indie game, uh, and he mentioned it on Twitter. He said, "Does anyone want to buy this game? Because it's coming out on Steam soon." I said, "Cool, I'll do a let's play of it," uh, but I don't want to spoiler it. And he responded saying, "You kind of can't spoiler it." Oh, maybe that was wrong. Yeah. You, know, you said you kind of can't spoiler it because it's going to be completely different when it's out on Steam. So I thought I'd play it now. And you can see basically what happens is the blue things turn left when they hit a block and red things turn right when they hit a block. You have to get the blue one to the blue spot and the red one to the red spot. And you can hold Z to rewind. Yeah, that gets the blue one there. So we also want to get this thing here. And possibly here? Yeah. And it's just a very simple sequence of uh, sequence of events like this. Of course it gets somewhat more fiendish as time goes on. I suspect what we do here is we just wait for them to appear one by one. And you can... Uh, you can see. ZX and C. Or you can pause it, which is nice. I haven't even realised. Cool. So let's uh, let's pause this. I think you can place them whilst it's paused. So this one's going to try and turn... It's going to keep going backwards and forwards, basically. I assume this is a teleporter. So we want it to turn right here. We can place them. And then when it comes out of here, it's going to hit this and turn right. So we want to put one here, I think. Yeah, it's teleporter. Yeah, so if they can't turn right, they turn left, and if they can't do that, they turn round. Complexity. Well, they turn twice, basically. So if they can't turn the way they want to turn, so you're going to turn left, which means I want you to be down there, and then I press, put the thing here, and then it'll turn left. So I'll do that, and I want you to turn right, so I'm going to wait, okay, which means... You're going to turn right, which means I do this. And then we pause and do this and this. And luckily, they're in the right order, or I would have had to restart, which is a shame. We're still getting on, but I, uh, I anticipate this becoming fiendishly difficult at some point in the future. These things are just going to go round and round, are they? Okay, so I want you to... turn right here, which if I put this block here it can't turn left so it will turn right. Correct. And then, but I need to get oh, this one here first. They will stop when they get to an X. I think we saw that in a previous level. I like the way it pauses with this uh, scan effect so it's really cool. So yeah, Daniel Ratcliffe was uh, behind a Minecraft mod that I played a lot of and I thought I've never actually given any financial support to anybody who's uh, done that sort of thing. So, I thought I'll, I'll do it in this regard instead. Uh, no, we don't want to do that. Let's see. You're going to go this way. And then you're going to try and turn right. So I'll put this here and make you turn left. Will you get there first? I think you will. Oh. Are you going to get out? Yeah, I think you are. And then you should turn left when you hit that one. Okay, good. And then you're going to want to go out here. Oh, is this going to be a problem? Yes, because you need to be there first. So let's rewind. This goes here. And then this goes here. Splendid. You are done. Welcome to your new homes. So you're going to go backwards and forwards for a while. You're going to go around in a circle. I assume we want this thing to be sort of there. 
That makes sense? And then this one will turn left when it hits here and left when it hits here and go there. Correct. And then this one will try and go right out of there. So that'll hit that. And I think we might as well try and get this one. Ah. We have to do this one first. So somehow, we need to make sure of the timing of this. Oh dear. <laughs> That's a problem. So the timing of this means that this one's going to hit this whilst that one's dithering about over there. We can't put a thing here. Can we? Yes, we can. Because that will cause this one to go left. And this one to go right. Alright, cool. Well, that was pretty easy. I'm anticipating this not lasting very long, so we could get through quite a lot in just a single episode. Ah, you see, this, I assume, forces... Oh, no, that's where I start from. Okay. Infinite loop, you say. So we want to turn... We've got six. Um, it feels like we need eight, but I don't think we do, because they will always turn inwards when... If I put one here, they'll always turn inwards. So let's do that. But then we need to ensure that... When this one gets to it, it'll turn right and hit that. One of them will turn left and hit that. I assume then it will hit this and go the wrong way, so... We have four left. I guess we do this. That seems right. Let's fast forward and see. Yeah, bring it on. Okie dokie. Redirection 3D. Things have changed. This is new. Right, so we need to get this one in here first. Uh, what am I doing? Excuse me. Put that in the right place. There we go. Will you turn that way? No. I don't think I have to put it there. There must be somewhere else I can put it. Maybe here? Nope, not that one. This one. Yeah, good. And then we need to make you turn... Uh, which way? How am I going to do it? Here? Yeah. They walk across the top of each other, which I think is quite rude. Multiple choice. Oh, they don't stop on each other's colours, that's nice. Alright, so we'll go backwards. You will turn the wrong way. So... This will make you turn that way, but you will turn around, so I guess that's okay. Yeah, and then... It doesn't really matter what you two do, I guess. Ah, except it does, because we've only got two pieces. Interesting. So we have to put them in the path of both of them. We have to put them in the path of both of them. Like both sets, which means they intersect here, here, here and here. So these are the only places we can actually put pieces. And yet, it's going to have to land them on something. So if you put one here, what happens? You go that way, and you go that way. And you go get confused. Oh, we could run them into each other. That's an interesting prospect, isn't it? So, uh, if we put here and put here and here, do they even run into each other at all? No. So we will go back. We'll try here and here. Not necessarily helpful. Very chaotic system, and I, I think I'm a fan of it. That's not helping. Okay. See, the alternative is that we... <laughs> there must be somewhere we can put this. So if you put it here, it's going to go rightwards. They're both going to turn into the edges. And then collide with each other. Oh, perfect. <laughs> I was guessing! I don't like it when I succeeded by guessing. I feel like I should be able to succeed by thinking about it, but... Uh, when has that ever happened? Oh, you're going to fall off, are you? Race condition. Well, you'll know about those. Good. You're in the right position. Good, good, good. All right, and then you're going to turn left. So we need to ensure that this one gets to its place. And you're going to turn in the wrong direction. So if we go back a little bit more. So we want one here and one here. And one here. Go. Uh, excuse me? I think I've placed too many. Oh, I'd already placed this one. My mistake. Go. You're there, you're there, you're there. And then we need to make sure you go there. 
And in theory... Yeah, this is becoming slightly more fiendish as we go along, but not incredibly. Two-tier architecture. So we need to get two reds down here first, then the blue. So we already know that we want to do this. Oh, wait. Nope. Because we need to get this red first. Ah, uh, do we? Yes. This red's going to go first, so here you go. Turn right. Keep going. Hit that. Then we make this red go. It will go up here, fall in that hole. Correct. Then, you make sure you go in that hole, and then you can go and do what it is that you do the best. These corners basically ensure the thing goes in the direction. So, it's not... Oh. Okay. <laughs> right, so... This and this, and then this, and then this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and... Ah, this, and... Look, let's do it whilst we play, and then we've got undo positions, haven't we? This, and three, and two, and one, and we've had a spare. Oh no, we haven't got a spare. That was it. That was it, uh, surprisingly easy, considering. So I think we're going to do this and this. Probably this, this, and... This? Ah, no, that's not right. Oh, it was right. More by luck than judgement, I would hesitate to add, and of course we're not getting those out of there, so... That is wrong, indeed. Forced you to go... rightwards. Do I need to? Because you're going to go leftwards and turn around anyway. Oh, no, you're not. You're going to keep going in circles. So you're going to go in there. And then you're going to go... I need both of them. Uh, okay, this one has become a pest. So this may... Yeah, it's called synchronization. So this may involve me trying to get these things to be in the right place at the right time. I mean, we noticed before that they collided with one another, so... Maybe that's relevant, I suppose. Lame. <laughs> Interesting. So... How do we synchronise it so that this one arrives... Ah, oh, we turn you around. Let's try that. Do you need to be a bit later or a bit earlier? Oh, I forgot to... Um... Yeah, a bit earlier, actually. So, maybe this? Uh, no. Go back. Get rid of that. Thank you. Put this here. Wait for this one to get past. Put this here. Now you'll turn around. No, you'll turn right. Fuck. <laughs> it's suddenly become difficult. I wasn't anticipating this. Right. You're going to go... If I put this there, you'll go that way. If I put this here, you'll go that way, but two steps out of turn. So if I put this here... Because I want to put this here to make this one go that way. How about if I do this? Okay, that's bad. There needs to be... Ah. I need one... They need to hit this. In fact, I need, these are required, right? So I have three. I have two that I can use to get them to be behind one another. This is what I believe I need to do. I need to get them to be behind one another. Here. Or here. So it's basically moving at the same time. So if you're going this way, you're going too fast. So you hit that and you turn around. So... Oh no, fucking put them back. <laughs> hmm. Which suggests we have to maybe wait a tick. They're going in perfect synchronization. That's the annoying thing. So you'll definitely land in there. Oh, will you? Wait, where are you going? Come back. Ooh. Didn't consider this. What happens now? Do you hit you? No, not quite. <laughs> Problem. Okay. Okay, okay. 
So let's try that the other way, where instead of that one, this one goes first. No, because it'll hit that and go in there. Yes. But we don't need to put these in yet. Okay, <laughs> okay, carry on. You go in here, turn around. Then you come back. You're going back and forth. Right, now you're both in the same place. Do I want you to be in the same place? Maybe. I put this here. Now I do this. And then you collide with each other in exactly the right place. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Are you going to go in there? It turned around. It didn't turn... Yeah, because they're going to... Fudge. Right. Well, I'm sure somebody is watching this has already figured it out. So you're going behind one another. No, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. We've got this situation here. So we'll do this. Send you over there. Now you're going backwards and forwards. Oh, now you've turned around. Okay. Is this bad or good? Who knows? Bad. I'm guessing that's bad. Let's restart this. <laughs> Skip level? No! Right. We need them to be going in the same direction, this way specifically, so that when they hit this block, they both go upwards. At the same time. So the one will, this one will hit this one, and then this one will hit. Right, that'll hit that, that'll hit that, and go in there. So how do I make you two be in the same place at the same time? See, that took one step too long. Inconceivable. If I do this, they just do whatever, right? And having these here... Do I need to? Ah, I wonder whether in fact what I need to do is get them to be in these... Oh, stupid. Get them to be in these gaps a tick apart. See that? Yeah! Now you're on there. I can concentrate on getting these two sons of a bitches into their little cubby holes. So you're going here. Uh, nope. You're, you go here, and you go here. Ha ha ha! Okay, I really enjoy that. That was actually quite difficult, but also extremely clever. Once you figured it out, right? And these are gonna keep going around. Okay, they're going around in circles, obviously. But there must be a reason they're starting different places, so I'm gonna assume that goes to there, and that goes to there. So I need to send this one into the transporter room, sort of in this direction. Don't collide with it. Of course you collide with each other. Uh, such that. <laughs> what are you doing, mate? Oh, fudge. Such that. This one goes through. Oh. That'll make sense. Into there. Walks on that. Does that. No. Right. The reason is, this one needs to go in first. Which means we need to do th uh, Excuse me. This first. Then we can do... We've only got one block. Ah. Uh, that's fine, apparently. How did you end up in there? Who cares? You did it. Infinite loop 2.0. We have six blocks, but there's only one way in. So we're going to have to time it. Which means we're going to have to do a red one first, I think. The red one goes in first, then the blue one will turn left and go into there. Oh, he falls off the edge. Of course he does. Also, that's not left. You will turn left, so you go here. Oh. Ha. Whatever we do first is wrong. Good to know. 
So we go hit that, turn left, go here, here, fall off. So we have to stop you. Which means we have to do this. It's the only way of getting it to go up here. Then this one is going to go right, so we have to do this. Uh, no we don't, because that's going to hit that. So we actually have to get you to be there. The only way to do that is to put one here and here. Uh, or here. And then here. Uh, no, because you can't go in there. How do I get you in there? Not cool. Alright, let's try with the blue one first. Blue one first. We're gonna go in there. So we do this. Uh, nope, that was right. Stop there. Then you end up on there. Then you turn left and then left and then you hit that. So we don't want you to do that. So we put one we put one here and then one here. Then we can't get this thing over here. So we have to do that one first. But then that would never happen. Well, at least we're going the other way. We have got one block left. So there's obviously a, a Tekanika. How about if we do this? Then we can't get you to that. Or that. <laughs> nope, that didn't work. This is very trial and error considering I didn't want it to be. This first gets you that way. Not what we want. We can put them on those. Is that good? Don't know. Right. Obviously red. No, I say obviously, it's not that obvious at all. Right, the red one will land there immediately, which gives us at least one point on the graph. Then this one lands here immediately. Then this one hits here and turns right. So we have to not do that. Or that. Oh, there we go. We did it! Thanks for playing. You can play with that one! Visit the forums for more content. There is a level editor. Act, act 2. Um, you can create your own levels. Which I may give a go at, but it may not be... Too great. Uh, how long have we been? 22 minutes. Alright, let's see how much more difficult these are. Lock and key. Uh, considerably. <laughs> Guess we put this here. Oh, I deleted this one by accident. So you need to be there. Then how do we get that? Oh, uh, that should go on there. Yes. Yeah, it comes with a level editor sort of built in. Does it take to there? Yeah, it does. So. Oh, this looks difficult as well. Uh, well, the only thing we can do here is put this here to make it go that way. And then this here. very confused. It looks like there's a lot of uh, opportunities for editing of levels. Because I have no fucking idea what's going on right now. <laughs> Okie dokie. So I guess we could do something like this. This very much reminds me of 3D Lemmings. Uh, not that. This, then this. And this. To turn you... Uh, it turns you right, of course it does. Turns you right. Ah, uh, stop turning right, you bastard. Okay, put you in there. So now you're in an infinite loop. Now we try and get this one over to there. How do we do that? Let me turn left. Now you're on there. We can put this here and this here. To make sure this turns around, we can put that there. And that goes in there. Whew. So yeah, I would. It currently only costs us about six quid. Uh, excuse me. 
<laughs> oh, you have to stand on that. Okay. I think it was six ninety nine because it's coming out on Steam, and obviously this isn't spoilers for the Steam version, uh, according to Daniel, who I trust implicitly because he's a person who has done things that I appreciated. Oh, that's bad. So you're going to have to dither around in there for a while, or oh, apparently not. This is harder than I expected. Right, you're going to have to press yours. You can't press yours first. <laughs> okay. You're just going to keep... Right, and now we try and time this. Why are you doing that all of a sudden? Stop doing that! Alright, so that's bad. Let's try... This? No, you're turning left. 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 See, I thought this would just shorten the circuit that it's making, right? Left. 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 Right. Left. Right. Oh, you're turning right, and you should be turning. Run. This is the only way to do that, but then you're going to turn this way. Of course you are. I do have an extra piece. Okay. So what we do is we do this. Uh, then we do this. I should keep you in a holding pattern for that. Then we do this. And then when that one hits that, You go faster, please. Phew, good. I'm looking forward to the Steam version. Hopefully there's a lot more uh, content. What is... What, are you, do you have to deal with your own shit right now? I'm hoping there's a lot more content in the Steam version. Obviously there's the uh, Steam Workshop available to us. No, you won't go that <laughs> Good job. Hmm. Can I put that here? No. <laughs> oh, I can, because of course, you'll still walk over it. Yeah? Oh no, you turn around anyway. Interesting. Interesting. I'm not a fan of that. How do we do this one? Friends. Explain. We can't put anything here because he, it needs to walk on that. We're like, if I do that, point this way. I'll go in there. So we'll do that. Wait. Wait. Now you're going to get stuck in there. Because the bloody loop is a, it's a right turn to get back into it. So the only way to get into it is to make sure it can only... It has to hit the corner. Which means we have to make it turn in a, such a way when it comes out of hitting that. Because it, now it's turning right again, but it doesn't normally. So the only way to make it turn left is to do something like this. Uh, if you aim it correctly, that would help. Yeah, but then now it's going to go back to turning left again and get stuck in the wrong direction for this particular loop. So we never get up the steps. Sheesh. Which means... And we can't... Uh, we can't arrest it early. Oh, can we? Like, could we just make it go this way? And then... Go this way? Actually, we totally fucking can. It's always the thing that you think you can't do in this game. That, oh, we can't do that because it needs to go there. No. That's exactly how you do it. You do the exact thing that you're about to say you are unable to do. Alright, you can't walk that way, but it won't push you in that direction, so... Send you this way. See what happens. Why aren't you supposed to walk into that? Oh, it's up! Okay. Can we, can we move the... No, there's a whole map. I think it just fell off the edge. Alright then, well... Thanks for falling off the edge. So if you go in there, that's bad. So I'll put you there. Do this. No? No, this. Put this here. 
Because that's up anyway, so. I'll turn that off. That's fine. We've got eight of these pieces, so. As long as I, I want, I guess. I'm going to turn this one off. Just put you in there. But you turn left on that, okay. So now we end up going... Uh, hmm. Here? And into this section, so then we have to do the same damn thing again. Where you do... Ah. This. Wait, where am I aiming you? Up this ramp. What am I doing? So you need to stop here and then here. So that's that mirrored. And then eventually you're going to need to be there. So now we wait for a while. Did we need to do that piece? No, that's not the piece I wanted. This is the piece I wanted. What's wrong with your geometrical fucking projections? It's only mentally rotating complex objects in a 3D space. It's not that hard. And then we did this and this. And then we've got one piece left, which will go here. And then we fast forward, because it's just a trial at this point, but at least there is a fast forward button. And now we're here. Sorted. It reminds me even more of Lemmings now that we have a fast forward button. Uh, okay, peak performance. Right, what happens if I do this? Let's just find out. We're going to go in there, right? Alright, okay. But then you're going to go in there. And fuck it up. But I can do this. I feel like uh, that should have been harder than it turned out to be. Infinite loop 3! Looks like we can't cross this. What do these do? Zap you? No. They disappear. We can only use each one once. We have six pieces. So we have to do each one of these. Each thing has to go in the correct space I expect. So it probably means we do something like this. Oh. No. So we can't do them all at once. Good to know. But we can probably... Ah, they'll turn left. <laughs> of course they will. Interesting. What do you reckon? If I do them all at once, they collide with each other. But I have to do this. Ah, if I do the blue ones first, then the red ones will turn around and come back. Oh no, they'll turn left anyway. Oh, of course they will. They have to turn that way, because that's the only direction for them to go in. What if I do this? Can I put a piece on the gap? Let's find out. Can I put a piece here? No. Hmm... So how are we going to get all of them across their spaces? Well, we know that if we do this, we'll have a problem. We could do this, and then this. Will that work? So that stops them going all the way around. Except no, because <laughs> obviously the reds need to be here. The reds need to be here. Then we let them go and we put the blocks here for the blues. And then the blues are going to turn around and come this way. And hopefully turn left. Whew. Nearly there. You can pick that too. I think that's it. Uh, yeah. There are many levels in Act 2. But there's many more on the workshop. So uh, if you enjoyed watching me dither around trying to figure this out. I will definitely download some more. Maybe cr create some for other people. Um, but. That's it. That's the entirety of Redirection. It was only a few quid, but now that I've spoiled all of it, there's no point really buying that one. But the new one will be out on Steam at some point. I should point out that Daniel Ratcliffe has not asked me to do any of this. He just said it was cool if I did, because we're not going to spoil or anything. But if you did enjoy it, I might be playing the Steam one. I might not be, but I don't want to spoil that in case anybody does want to play it. Uh, but yeah, uh, I guess I'll just keep going, see if there's anything good on uh, Twitter. But that was worth playing, I think. Um, and thank you for watching. That was that was taxing, but not a trial. Uh, and I'll see you for some other episode or something else in the future. Thanks for watching.